Hey guys, thanks for coming. I'm, uh, I'm Aaron. I'm one of the organizers for uh, WordPress Rhode Island and uh, for uh, WordCamp Rhode Island. Uh, sorry, I got here a little late. I didn't even unpack. I just my bag. Uh, I actually want to take a moment first uh, to, you know, again, thank Imagine for hosting. Uh, you know, we're technically not in Rhode Island and we're out of our comfort zone. Us, you know, born and bred Rhode Islanders, we don't like to get out of Rhode Island too often. Um, but I want to take a moment, because I have so many people here, to uh, share a project. Um, how many of you would consider yourselves uh, WordPress professionals? Like, you, you do it in some way, shape, or form, you make money off of WordPress. That's a good portion of us. So, um, my company, Lynchpin, uh, we're, we're in that space as well. We make money off of WordPress, um, and it's, it's part of my livelihood. And uh, we had, uh, we were fortunate enough to work on a project with another company that's pretty big in the WordPress space called Automatic. Um, we, what we wanted to do was uh, build a site that would allow WordPress professionals to um, become listed. Much like you would be listed on LinkedIn, or you'd be listed at any other kind of freelance place, uh, we thought it would be nice to actually create a site uh, for WordPress professionals to go to, whether they be an organization like Imagine or Lynchpin, or an individual that's uh, looking for work. So one of the projects, which I'm, I'm just going to show if I can steal a moment of your time, is called Jetpack.pro. Um, while it does have the Jetpack moniker, uh, because it is kind of a, a project that was funded by Automatic, um, it's really something that's for the community. Um, it's a project that's uh, near and dear to the Lynchman team, because we built it. Uh, but it's also something that I'm passionate about just from uh, a community organizer. You know, I want everybody in the WordPress space, whether they're competitors, which there are a few in this room, uh, but I want everybody to be successful at, at that high level or at the freelance level. And this was something that, uh, when presented with the opportunity, um, I kind of jumped on it. So I figured I'd just show it real quick just to get a sense of what it is. But I encourage everybody, if you're interested, uh, to sign up. Uh, what it really does is it actually, for all intents and purposes, it's a data aggregator. It lists all professionals that want to be listed. And it pulls all their data, whether they're a speaker, whether they are a core contributor, uh, whether they are a plugin developer or a theme developer. It will share all that information so you can get a sense of uh, how active an individual is in the, the WordPress community. Uh, so if I can steal a moment, uh, I'd like to show it off. Cool. Uh, Christian, hopefully you don't have anything too crazy on your computer. <laughs> Uh-oh, I should close all your tabs. Do a new tab. Let's get all, get out of here. Don't click on this. I'm not clicking on anything. I covered it up. I, I hit everything. I <laughs> got rid of everything. <laughs> <laughs> your secrets are safe with me. If I can touch. Whew. It was, it was all cat videos, I'm pretty sure. <laughs> Alright. So, uh, I'll get out of the way because I don't have a fancy clicky thing. Uh, at its most basic, it's really just asking you to search and to sign up. Uh, but what it really, it's, I don't think it's really, it's at its infancy, I don't think it's at its most powerful yet. I think it's going to be more powerful as we have more people signing up. Uh, but at first, it's really asking you kind of what you're looking for if you're searching for a pro. It's going to ask you, like, if you're into a specific service, like someone that just does maintenance, for example, someone that just updates plugins. Uh, it'll ask you, hey, maybe I'm actually interested in just security, you know, like a topic that Christian was just talking about, like making sure plugins are secure. Um, and what we want to do is actually grow out what really a service means. Is a service something like as simple as just like SEO? It's a support and troubleshooting. You know, so this is kind of an ever-evolving thing, all based around community feedback. Um, they're doing a lot of feedback right now, actually, through uh, just general support tickets that the Jetpack team kind of gets on a daily basis. Uh, you can also search by locality, so something near me versus in a country. 
Uh, we have a lot of plans for uh, really crazy location-based stuff, but we need to get more people first before we really dive into that. But that's the most basic. Uh, I'm just going to just view like all. So as you can see, it's really, again, all, all it's really doing is just a, a breakdown of professionals in the area, where they work, if they want to list it, what services they're into. So, you know, like Aaron Campbell, he knows a ton of stuff. He's way smarter than I am. But he's a speaker. He's into performance, plug-in development, and a bunch of other things. You can also see that his specialties are word games. Like, that would be one of mine. No, I, I tend to think, even though I'm just a bragger. So. Uh, but uh, what we would like to do is, I mean, it's free to sign up. You can actually sign up and choose to not be listed, if you'd like, just to get a sense of what you think your profile would look like. Um, and I encourage you to do so. Uh, some notes about it. Uh, we are making changes pretty rapidly. I have a feature list that's longer than I am tall. Uh, but uh, if you'd like to take the time, it's jetpack.pro. Um, yeah, we're proud of it. John, who's no longer with uh, Lynchpin, he was an, in an integral part of it. He did a lot of the data aggregation that you see here. And uh, I encourage you to uh, kind of check it out if you'd like to. And thanks for the time. That's all I got. What else? Oh. Um, What's up? Is it by individual person or by company? Oh, you can do it by company. Right now, um, we're treating companies and individuals on the same plane, so there's no hierarchy yet. Um, right now, it's really because of the way the dark dot org repo is set up, so there's no hierarchy. Like, I just have like a Lynchpin agency user for Lynchpin, for example, and Automatic has their user. Uh, this data, while it does do uh, some authentication uh, through not only like WordPress.com and WordPress.org. Uh, ultimately, what we really wanted to do is truly be only based off of WordPress.org. Uh, so, at that sense, for now, it's just a straight hierarchy. You can actually see like Lynchpin's listed in here, and I'm listed in here. Automatic's listed in here, and the, you know all the automaticians are probably. In um, so if you want to, you can actually sign up both anytime you want. Um, yeah. Any other questions? I didn't even really ask. There's also a contact form on your profile that people can get in touch with. You. Oh yeah, good sell, Johnny. Good sell. <laughs> <laughs> Let's hire you. Let's find someone cool. Oh, yeah, all right, so like automatic. I'll, I'll show. I'll show them off, I guess. So this is kind of your standard profile. Uh, you know, we, we're pulling in your gravatar. That's actually how it's doing some authentication. Is based on your gravatar. Um, and uh, any company or individual can list their services, specialties. Uh, it'll automatically pull in your bio from WordPress.org, uh, but you can change it. You can override it with whatever you like. Um, and then from there, you can also see uh, the plugins that are listed, themes that are associated with it. There's a bunch we just kind of collapse in because, like for example, Automatic has 87 more themes, so we try and collapse those. It'll actually also show your activity. So this will give you, like, if you did like forum updates, like uh, Christian was mentioning, uh, support. If uh, an individual uh, plugin developer or theme developer um, or an organization happens to do any like pretty active uh, forum updates or commits, uh, that information will be pulled. It's not real time, uh, but it's it's pretty close. And then from there. Uh, you can actually, like John was mentioning, you can actually like contact. You can share the individual with the uh, share the individual profile. Um, if there's actually more uh, available, like links to like LinkedIn, or maybe you're on Slack. Like I'm on Slack for chat.wordpress.org. Uh, you can find my my information there as well. It's pretty much any social network that's popular. You can pretty much find. What else did I miss? I think that's pretty much it. Pretty much it. Um, but yeah, uh, we have uh, some, some things in the pipeline that we're thinking about adding are not necessarily ratings, but also adding like what we're calling kudos. So like if you're a plugin developer and uh, maybe someone submits a bug and you're like, oh cool, and you turn around and you fix that bug in like an hour. You're just like, oh that's a great idea, good find, fix it. 
they can maybe give you some kudos and say, hey, great job, thanks for fixing this for me. Um, we're just trying to figure out how someone would be like sarcastic and mean about it, like, yeah, great job, like scream of doom. You know? We want to make sure we can kind of moderate those things. But um, again, uh, if you have any questions, uh, you can find me uh, at Aaron Ware. So at Aaron Ware, nothing fancy. Um, and uh, I encourage you, please sign up because, uh, you know, quite frankly, I'm looking for more people to test it. Are you going to be posting to certain communities in the WordPress? Yes. So, like, um, Google we, Plus. Yes. So, on um, the, are you guys uh, part of the WordPress Advanced Users on Facebook? If not, sign up. It's actually a great group on Facebook. Um, a lot of really advanced users, a lot of core contributors uh, share there. So that's one area that's been shared. I know that if you get the WooCommerce newsletter, um, it was actually in their newsletter the end of last month. Um, I know that uh, for Linchpin, we've been sharing it kind of as we speak at different um, events. So I'm going to be speaking at a, you know, WordPress Boston for example, at the end of this month, which I'll totally be speaking about this, I'm sure, uh, just to kind of hawk my wares. Um, but yeah, we'll probably be sharing it in other places as well. I would expect Automatic to probably really be sharing it. Um, I think their threshold is we're trying to get a 1,000 users, and once we have a 1,000, maybe we'll like, kind of, they'll unleash their marketing stuff. Uh, but if you have any suggestions, like if there are specific groups that could benefit from this, um, let me know. Um, and I'll kind of jot them down and we can make sure we share it out. Um, yeah, any other questions? So I just came across this, uh, I don't know the URL, but it's a WordPressjobs.net or something like that. Yeah. Um, and so you see people asking for particular services, right? So is the automatic team, are you thinking about maybe combining those services? Yes. To this? Yes. So for Lynchpin, it's a selfish thing. Um, it's hard to find talent. It's hard to find talent without kind of like, you know, poaching from other places and like it gets very cutthroat. So we, we for my intention for this was to make it so people can be listed if they want to be and companies can straight up say, hey, I'm looking for someone that wants to say they're available. Like one of the things that, it's not in here for automatic, but you can actually say if you're available for freelance. You can say you're available for full time. You can say, I uh, just want some contract work, no big deal. Uh, we want people to be able to use this and interact and find someone that's right for them. Uh, for Automatic, a big thing for them is WooCommerce. So if you're familiar, uh, it was, I mean, six to eight months ago, uh, Automatic actually bought WooCommerce for a large sum of money. But Automatic doesn't really build sites. They may power a lot of the plugins and a lot of the infrastructure that sites are built on, but it's not what they do. They don't want to run an e-commerce store. They don't want to, you know, other than creating a theme, they don't want to install the theme for you. They don't want to do all that stuff. But what they do want to do is find people that can do it for you or maybe help you get a gig. So that's really their vision of it is to make sure that the products that they either open source or the products that they sell, have a community that can support it and can, uh, quite frankly, they can vouch for doing it. Um, there's some, you know, really talented in individuals on here that, you know, again, are way smarter than I am, uh, that, you know, they live and die by having, you know, their, their, their face out there. And this is just another avenue for them to be able to do that. Um, and another avenue that you could do that. Anybody else? Cool. Well, thank you for your time. I know I kind of just like jumped in. And... <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I was like, get out of here.